Okay, everybody, by popular demand, I get so many emails of how you can get visible wireless on a non compatible phone. Stay tuned, let's take a look. Hey, everybody, welcome back. I appreciate you being here. I get this question asked the most is since I've posted a visible wireless um, internet and so forth, people have been emailing the heck out of me to find out how they can do it if they don't have a compatible phone. I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way. I also get a lot of emails, is visible a good service for you? It depends on what your conception is for a good service. I look at it as it does everything that I need it to do and actually a little bit more. So depending on your area, depending on your towers, depending on the power from your towers to your phones and so forth, I can only tell you what it's been doing for me and how well it's worked for me. I would say it is a heck of a good service. And then of course I get the uh, question of how come my brand new phone won't work with visible wireless it will work okay 99 times out of 100 it will work it's just that they're saying it is not compatible okay you know you go to the website you run the IMEI numbers check see if it's compatible a lot of times they're trying to sell you a phone but the key thing on this is they don't have all the phones in there yet Okay, they're getting more and more every day. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can get this done. Um, relatively easy. Uh, on the phone, it has firmware. A firmware is a software that they, well, it's a firmware actually, not software, but it's an actual operating system on your phone that tells the provider what model, what this, what that, everything about that phone to run it. And some phones have extra items that the carrier does not want you to use. So that's one of the reasons. And it, it's what they call a, um, you can flash your firmware, you can put on a different one, but that's not for the newbies. But regardless of that, don't worry about it. I got you covered. We're gonna do a step-by-step -step process, get this done for you. But first, hey, do me a favor and subscribe. Uh, I'd appreciate it so much. And remember to hit that little bell notification so it tells you when we got another video coming out tells you when we have new drawings coming out and all that so do that that way you're notified when the good stuff hits and i want to thank all of you that are giving me my thumbs up uh, i appreciate it when you do that with the videos it helps with the youtube algorithm it helps us make more videos and helps us give you more stuff to look at more devices give away more products and all that stuff so definitely give me a thumbs up on this. I'd appreciate it. Hey everybody, I just want to remind you that we are giving away a Z10 Air Mouse, which I find to be one of the best on the market right now. ZYF Tech was gracious enough to supply me with this to give to you. Well, at least one of you. You need to look at this video here. It's going to tell you how to enter. I'll put a link in the description so you know which one to go to along with any other giveaways we're having. We're not just giving away the Air Mouse. It's also coming with a OTG cable. Also, we're going to go ahead and send one of these. It is a adapter. USB adapter. It's uh, really a cool little item. We're giving all three of these one drawing. So please hit that up. You'll like it for your chance of winning. Okay, the, I'm gonna we're gonna go over the first part. If you have an old phone, see I usually carry a couple, but this is an old phone. This is an S8, and this one I use for activating. Okay, it's pretty simple. You just, you know, give them the IMEI number because it's already approved and they'll send you a SIM card the next day. Okay, that's the easy way. You can use an old phone and you can run this IMEI on it and get a hundred SIM cards off the one IMEI. That is the simplest way. That is the way you can get the, the SIM. You get put it in this, you get it activated, then put it in your other phone. Okay, now... But if you don't have that, now this works on a majority of the phones, okay? I haven't tested them all, but 
I it's been working great for a lot of people okay first thing you're gonna to want to do on your phone that you that is not compatible you're gonna download an IMEI generator it's going to do that put it on your phone okay what you want to go ahead and do is go to the Play Store and you want to actually search for IMEI generator so you're gonna do that and we'll go ahead and search it again now I can use the light or I can use a, the free IMEI generator we either one is gonna work fine if you go ahead we'll go ahead and download this one and it'll take a few seconds and we'll go ahead and get that started okay with this IMEI generator you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna you're gonna have your visible wireless website open so you can check the IMEI number to make sure you get one that is compatible now I'm going to tell you even if you have a Samsung phone uh, or any of the Android phones use Google Pixel 4 as the type of phone and use that IMEI number because just for some reason most all of these seem to work so you can try your you know regular phone that you're going to use you know but this is just one of the go-to's okay let's go ahead and open it up and what you're gonna look here to do is you want the Google Pixel 3 or 4 it'll you can click here and it has all these for you but most of the pixels are working fine for you so you're gonna this is how many do you want just go ahead and get 25 and generate you can generate as many as you like just keep pushing the button but you want to go ahead and choose that and you can copy the IMEI to your clipboard and go to the website and find out and make sure it works. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, you can go ahead and click on bring your own phone to get to the IMEI checker. Okay, we're going to go ahead and check compatibility. You're going to check the IMEI number and here you're going to go ahead and And there you go. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and, is your phone unblocked? Click yes. Continue. Woohoo. Okay. Now it's going to go through and tell you all the things you need to see here. And then you just continue and enter your information. You're going to order a SIM card. It's going to be here the next day. They go FedEx next day delivery. Now that you've found a number that works for you and you're going to get that SIM card, not all non-compatible phones will activate directly, which says you cannot just put the chip in here and activate it from this phone. I have not found that it doesn't yet, but because everyone I've tried has been able to do it. So I'm just letting you know that it may not then, you know, you go to your friend's phone and do it that way or what have you. But so far it's been working on everything I've tried you have a working number you got your account ready you got a sim card coming and usually overnight they FedEx you a sim card you get your sim card yeah you got your sim card you're ready to go not really you need to activate that sim card if you're using the other phone method put it in that phone make sure that you have the visible wireless app on there you have to have it on there first a link is in the description but you can just go to Google Play and just type it in visible app visible wireless app actually, and get that on your phone first you got to have that on your phone to activate it okay next okay now that you have the visible wireless application on your phone insert the SIM card it's gonna ask you to reboot go ahead and reboot if it doesn't just go on just let it sit for a couple of seconds before you continue just uh, give it a little time to you know catch a tower log it in do all that stuff then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go over to the visible wireless now as you can see you have two you have two areas you have one that says activate service and one that says sign in you should already have an account with visible from signing up but go ahead and click on the activate service and go ahead and put in your email and cert and your password okay now once you're in there it's gonna tell you what you need to do to activate that sim card follow the directions and get it try to get it activated if it does not activate what we're gonna do next is what is making this compatible phone compatible okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the phone and make this compatible you go ahead and get out of that program 
and we're going to go to settings connections you want to go to this is on most phones uh, this way but you want to look for mobile networks and access point names okay here is where you're going to enter the information needed to make it a compatible phone let's take a look okay let's work from the bottom up these are the four APN items that you're going to need to install or actually add so what you do is you click on the add button once it does that we're going to enter this information now I have this information on a text file a PDF file that you can download it it's in the description uh, but what you want to do is you want to go ahead and enter all this information you can pause and enter it as you go but you want to enter it exactly okay that's the one now you're gonna to go to the photo or photo and you're gonna go ahead and enter this exactly how you see it next click add again and we're going to do the CBS this like I said exactly as you see I did this Now the APN type, remember to pay close attention to that too. But you need to do it, like I said, exactly as you see it. Okay, remember to click save, by the way, so you can actually click up here and go save. Most of them will save as you do as you go. Okay, you're gonna click add again, and we're gonna go ahead and do the IMS. And as you can see, if you go down and you want to put it in exactly like this and make sure you save it and go ahead and get out of that now be sure that you have all four of these entered just exactly as I have and we'll go from there okay now that you've got all the APNs in there that you need restart your phone reboot it otherwise and bring it back up and let's see what happens okay now you're gonna go back to activate phone go to the visible wireless app you have on your phone and click activate now it should let you go through and activate your phone without a problem if it doesn't then you will need to use another phone to do it and it could be, you know, a friend's phone like that. It only takes a couple of minutes. Doesn't harm their phone. Doesn't change any of their settings. You just activate your card, take it out. They put theirs back in. No harm, no foul. Okay, the only thing that I have found that may give you any problems, I haven't had it yet, is the uh, messaging system, the text messaging. For some reason, some of the clients do not play well with it. Uh, so download verizon's messages it's in google play store and it's really a decent program um but yeah then you put that on there you have no problem with texting if you if you have any problem at all uh this is really a great app um i don't like you know carriers apps to be honest with you but this really is a good app so take a look at that and see what you think if you have any problems with that well i hope this taught you something and i hope you liked it so please subscribe uh it just it's a great thing to do. It doesn't cost you nothing. And definitely give me a thumbs up on this. I'd appreciate it so much. It really helps the channel. And if you can share this, I appreciate that greatly. Uh, we're getting this channel back to where it should be. And it's all because of you. And I appreciate it so much. So stay tuned until the next one. Remember to keep watching. I'll see you.